Number Drills, brought to you by Burning to Learn Level 9. Square root of 25, that's 5. Square root of 81, that's 9. On the left there we have 5 times 9. On the right here, 20 squared, 20 times 20, that's 400. 2 to the power of 3, 2 cubed, that's 8. So on the right we've got 400 times 8. So 5 times 9 on the left, that's 45. Plus 400 times the 8, that's 3,200. So to get our answer, we go 45 plus 3,200. 7 divided by 1,000. Well that's going to be 0 0.007. Now we need to multiply that by 4. So we're going to be left with 0 0.028. Here we need to move that decimal point because we're multiplying 0 0.772 by 100, so move it two places to the right, and we've got 77.2. Then we're going to add 0 0.4, because that's the same as two fifths. Then 9 over 100 in decimal form is 0 0.09. We're going to add all those together to get our answer. What is A? 2.5 A, and that automatically means the multiplication in there. So 2.5 multiplied by 10 in this instance, so that will equal 25. 25 times 5, that's going to equal 125. So A equals 10. This question looks much harder than it actually is. So 120 plus 2 cubed, or 2 to the power of 3, is 128. And that's over 64. Then there in the middle, 4 times 22, then plus the 12, that equals 100. And that's going to be on top, and then the 100 is going to be on the bottom. So 100 over 100 plus the 33 over 11. Now if you remember, know your maths, you need to remember here that that there actually means what? Well it means, coming slowly here, a division sign. So it means it's 128 divided by 64, 100 divided by 100, 33 divided by 11. And it makes everything rather simple in the end. So 128 divided by 64, well that's 2. 100 divided by 100, that's 1. 33 divided by 11, well that's 3. So we end up with 2 plus 1 plus 3. And that's going to give you 6. 0 0.934 times 1000, move the decimal point, 934. What is B in this question? Well, here we have 12.34. We're going to multiply it by something, the mystery B, and then we're going to add it. And 66 divided by 10, well, that equals 6.6. .6, so we knew that right now. That's going to all equal 1,240.6. So 12.34 multiplied by 100. We'll see that's going to give us 1,234. So getting closer to 1,240. Then we add the 6.6. .6. So our answer on this side again is 1,240.6. The question's asking, what is B? Well, so here, B is going to be 100. That's what it's worth. Negative 6 plus 6 times 6, 36. So negative 6 plus 36 is going to be 30. We need to subtract that from the square root of 121. The square root of 121, well that's 11. 30, take away 11, that's going to leave you with 19. 2.5% of 5,000, well 10% of 5,000 is 500. Well that means 5% is 250. Harvard again, 2.5 125. 9.3 times 3, 0 0.279. As you can see here, 27.9, and then you're going to divide that by the 100. So we have 2 fifths plus 19 one hundredths. So that's 0 0.4 times 
the same as saying two fifths, and then 19 one hundredths, it's the same as saying 0 0.19. We add all these decimals together now, and we're left with 0 0.89. Here we have 40 squared, so 40 times 40, times 10. Well, that's going to equal 16,000. Then 9,000 divided by 100, well, that equals 90. So 16,000 take away 90, 15,910.